If they got 200 people, you know, just ask the question, hey, is this full time for you? Is this part time? You know, how quick are you going to respond to my questions? How, what is your availability to me? Because some apps, even though you're full time, they're done, you know, answering questions maybe at three o'clock because they have kids or events that they need to go to as well. So give them that grace if they do and just communicate like, hey, I need to know if I, I hit you up, what's gonna be your response time, what's the cutoff time, and that communication, it'll help in the end, I think, as far as finding a coach. And when you find a coach, find one that will communicate with you, that just don't throw you a plan, throw you a nutrition plan, because I, I guess you would testify this, they're not only just your coach, they are, are confident, I mean, they, they're our friends, we vent to them a lot of the above. You know, they're not just a coach. They're also there for more beyond that to be there for you. So also find one that you know you can be real personal with and have can build a relationship with too. You wanna you wanna have somebody you actually like, you know? Yeah. Be like, oh it's my coach. I don't like my coach. <laughs> you wanna have someone you can talk to as well. I think that's that's very important. All of the above. And with coaches, sometimes they're trying to see if you're a good fit for them too. Because you may be like, I need this, I need this. And for me, I'm like, I don't think I can meet their expectations. So I don't want to fail them. So I'm gonna refer them to someone that can give them what they need. So it's a, it's a two way street when you're doing those consultations for those questions. They're like, hey, they need this. I don't think I can do that or I may not be able to meet that, so let me help them get to someone else. So that, that's why, yes, both ways. It's not one-sided. The coach is trying to decide if I'm gonna be a good fit for you with your lifestyle or competition, and that's why for Beauty and Beast Mode, we do those free consultations because we want you to be happy. We don't want you to sign up. Yeah, they have you lock in for six months to a year, and then you're like, I don't even like this person. Nah, I paid all this money, and I gotta stay here, but do I really have to stay here? So it's a lot. And uh, I'll, I'll give, I won't brag on Regina. So, um, <laughs> I, like, I've said before, like, I, I do my own everything, uh, but with posing, I do one-offs with different people, and I've had uh, Regina pose me before, and one of the things that I think is good that she does that brings a little bit more integrity to the outfit is that she'll tell our athletes, it's a, go get another opinion on like posing or whatever, you know, get some experience, see what other people say. So for me, a red flag too, is somebody who's gonna give you guaranteed in eight weeks, in six weeks, you're gonna do this. It doesn't work that way. They don't know you, they don't know your body, they don't know, they don't know. So they're gonna say, hey, this is my goal. We're gonna to work towards this. And if you're not ready, we both gotta be mature enough to say, let's back off, you know, and reassess. So anybody who makes you these strong promises and guarantees, that that ain't it, you know? It, because it just, it doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. And so somebody that's willing to say, hey, I think this person might really be able to help you out a little bit or talk to this person, okay. that gives oh, me yeah. more okay. feelings no, about the integrity oh, okay. of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right, because I'd be quick to say, um, let me refer you over here to this person. Because I just I want them to be successful in their journey. And I understand everyone may not be the right fit for me, and that's okay. Maybe I work better as your posing coach or better as a mentor, and that's all right. That's okay. It's it's so many different coaches. It's a lot of people out here, especially with posing. I know my stuff. So I'm gonna say, okay, hey, you know, I'm gonna try somebody else. That's my that's okay. But ultimately getting that different insight and then like, okay, cool, I like how you do this over here or how they do this. just tying it all in together. I know some people um like, I'm sticking with this one person. I'm like, that's fine. I don't want you to leave. That's that's not the goal. I just want you to 
open, have a little more, just open up a little bit, open your mind to something a little bit different from who's posting. And I said, you can stay with that person, but I'm helping you. I don't want to take you away. 